Good afternoon Mr. Lawton. Thanks for coming in today. Let's get straight down to business. Why are you the right man to take Kidderminster Harriers forward? Well, thank you for meeting with me. Um, I firmly believe I'm the right person to take this club forward. I know the players, I know the staff, I know the fans. So if I can't take us up to where we belong, I don't think anyone can, quite frankly. That's all well and good, but you have absolutely no experience. You're only 22 years old and quite frankly seem to be the worst possible candidate for this role. I feel you've been a bit short-sighted there, if I'm honest. Why does being young have to be a hindrance? Why can't it be classed as, I have more opportunity to learn, I've got no ways that I'm stuck in, so I can learn. All I want to do is take this club as high as I can and do it by playing the right way. and welcome to the first ever video on the Little Lawton Gaming channel. It is a Football Manager 2017 save with Kidderminster Harris, a team which are very close to my heart. They're my local club, they're a club I've supported since I was a little kid. And hopefully we'll be able to get them from the Vanarama National League North all the way up to the Premier League and beyond. So let's get into the action. So here we have Kidderminster Harriers. They're a team founded in 1886 in my local town. So we've been going for over 130 years now, which I find remarkable since we've never really reached those higher levels of the English game we have almost gone out of business twice in recent years I think it was either 2010 or 2011 where we were three hours away from folding three hours away from going under and then last year we were told we were very close to going under as well until Colin Gordon bought his shares in the club and invested his own money to basically lift us out of despair and now we're on better financial footing thank god and it's all down to him quite finally so shout out to colin gordon thank you so right now we've got the squad depth screen what i'm going to do is i'm going to take you through the formation we're going to play and then i'm going to actually take you through some of the key players that are going to be key throughout this series as you can see we're playing a 4-2-4 formation although i prefer to say 4-2-2 but whatever the game decides really um we're going with the flat back four, mainly because it's pretty standard. I think if you try anything too complicated at this level, the players just will not connect with it at all, and you'll end up losing every game. So playing with, with that, just simple back four, they're all there to defend. No one's meant to go forward. It, it's simple, it's normal, and they won't have too much to really think about they won't have to bomb up and then think about getting back because they won't have the stamina to do that in midfield which is going with two standard midfielders i will be trying to get a cdm in there but at the moment we don't have anyone strong enough in that position to really warrant having him there it's better for me just to have the two central midfielders considering we've got players like james mcwilkin ryan crowsdale liam truslove I mean, eventually we're going to have Elton Nguetala back, who you guys will know. You will know him. He is an amazing player, and he's going to be so key in this series. Um, on the wings, it it's looking like we're going to be playing Arthur Ganawa and Tyrell White. For some reason, they're telling me Stan Balziev is better than Tyrell White. In real life, he's not. But I would definitely be willing to give that a go, to be fair, because uh, the, right, the attacking right mid role is something that is weak. And something that I am looking to sort out. We've got a player called Sam Austin, as you can see here, who's only given as a striker, and in real life he plays as a winger, and I'm training him so he can come and play in this role for me. And since he's a striker, he isn't really, as you can see, going to get a look in either, to be fair. When you think we've got Andre Brown, even Arthur, Arthur Ganawa can play ahead of him. Louis Rooney, who I'll show you a bit in a bit later, because I've brought him in on loan. And Big Manny D, also known as Emmanuel Diasurovoy. However, I don't fancy shouting that every time he scores a goal. I'm not going to lie. So, nicknamed him Big Manny D. It says here we've only got one keeper. Just to quickly point that out, we actually haven't. We've got two. There is Tom Palmer. He is young, but he will be playing backup for me. And 
you know, I, I, Hornby shouldn't be getting injured. If he does, then we're in trouble. Simple as that. We haven't got the wages really to warrant having another keeper, unfortunately. But let's get into the tactics and I'll actually take you through how we're going to be playing. So today we're going to be playing Curzon Ashton in the first game of the season. We, in real life, we beat them 6-1. So I'd like to think we could do it again, but I would just take a 1-0, not going to lie to you. We've got Sam Hornby in goal. We've got Zane Francis Annual playing left back. Tony Cliff and Lowe in the middle with Lowe being captain. Jared Hodgkiss is playing right back. In the middle, we've got the magician himself, James McWilkin, playing alongside Ryan Crowsdale. Arthur Ganauer and Tyrell White are both going to be playing on the wings with Lewis Rooney and Big Manny D up top. Now, just to mention, Lewis Rooney is actually the only signing I've made. I brought him in on loan from uh, Plymouth, and it, I brought him in because I just didn't feel any of our other striking options were good enough to play to feed off Big Manny D. So I brought Louis Rooney in because he's he's not the slowest player in the world. He's got a bit of pace about him and his work rate is very high. I like players who are going to work hard. And if you're working hard and you're a striker, you're generally going to get chances. So that's why I felt the need to bring him in. And hopefully that partnership today can grab us the goals. In terms of instructions, we're going to be playing with a slightly deeper back line just so we can try and get rid of the option of the long ball over the top, which I which I reckon that's the way Curzon will play. Bit of oof ball. We're going to try and pass out of defence. I don't pass in space. Just pass out of defence and retain possession because that is how we play in real life and that's how I intend us to play on the game. So without further ado, let's just get into it. Right then, so here we are, ready for the first game of the season after what has been a very dodgy pre-season. Uh, we are favourites for the game, despite being away from home. Because they're very small. They're actually a community team, very small team, very small club, and they're the kind of team that I like. You know, they live within their means and they work hard. So for me, I've got no problem with them. I just hope we beat them. Quite frankly, we have to. Um, I'll listen, Gardner. Do what you want, whatever you feel is right on this one. So team talk. We're going to go assertively. Uh, Come on lads, we are the favourites here, show me what you can do. And then we'll give it the old, I think there's a lot more to come from you. The old favourite from football managers, past and present. Um, control, flexible, right, start this match, let's go. Hormi's going to kick this one out, boot it up top, but Steele's got there, Ennis now. Ennis for, for Curzon. Gets it down to True Love. True Love on to Guest. Guest. Guest around his mouth. Oh my god. Close him down. What? Oh. That is not the start we were looking for. That is not the start we were looking for at all. He's just allowed to wonder. Well, this is a brilliant start to the series, isn't it? He's just allowed to wonder. True Love into Guest. And what, I don't, what's Tony Cliff doing? What is Tony Cliff doing there? Hornby, no chance in all fairness. It's right in the court. It's a lovely finish. But, oh, oh God, it's going to be a chance for them again. Oh, here we go. It's also on the ball. Crows down now. McQuilkin. McQuilkin gets it to Tony Cliff. Don't waste it. Here we go. Francis Agnol. He's got no one to pass it to. But that's going to McQuilkin. McQuilkin now on to Ganawa. Ganawa run with it. Why is he cut back there? Oh, it's a good ball, though. To Crowsdale. Rooney. Crowsdale. We'll find Tyrell White. Wait. Lifts it into the centre. Ganawa. Oh, it's right at Hackenburton. Simple save. Right, McQuilkin free kick. Over the wall! James McQuilkin! Come on! James McQuilkin's magic. He wears a magic hat. He looks like Luka Modric and plays like Jammer Matt. He passes with his left foot. He passes with his right. And when we go promotion, we'll sing all the <laughs> night. Come on! 1-1. One, one. Oh, the highlight again. McQuilkin now. On to Ganawa. Ganawa on that ball. Crosses it in. Oh, Brown's there. Hayden Becker now with that ball. On to right. Right has it for Curzon Ashton. They're going to try and bring this away. And they boot it for That's going to go to Hodgkiss. And we're going to come forward again here. Crowsdale. On to White. To McQuilkin. McQuilkin to Crowsdale. Back to McQuilkin. What's he going to do with it? Oh, Hayden Becker's won it. It's going to be a Curzon chance. Guest. On to Brown. True love. Oh my god. It's like 
How many on three? Anything? Oh no, Aiden Becker, it's 2 1. We committed too many fours. Well, we were level for like, what, a minute? I don't know. <laughs> we we weren't level for long. Hayden Becker, I mean, he ain't going to miss that. Oh, B, not a, not a chance in hell with that. 2 1. Francis Agnol now. On to Ganawa. To McQuilkin. To Crowsdale! 2 2! Get in! Jimmy Mack is up for the game of his life! Come on! This is it. Cracking response. Absolute. What a ball from McQuilkin, though. What a ball that is. And Crowsdale couldn't miss. 2-2. Two, two, come on. Right. So we're at half, half time now. Um, we really should be going out there and aiming to win. There's no two ways about it. So I'm going to go assertively again. Just keep going out there. Because I feel they're not the best at the back. I feel we can win this. So we're going to give it the all that. I am actually going to be bringing off Big Man ED. He's going to come off. We're going to bring Andre Brown on. Because I feel it's better if we do that. And then I'm going to put him as a poacher. And he can start as a defensive forward. Start the second half. Let's do this. Come on. We can win this. Here we go. Hodgkiss. On to Crowsdale. Hodgkiss now. Launches it in towards Ganawa. Oh, wait on that ball. Crowsdale. What's he going to do? He's going to give it to Jimmy Mack. Jimmy Mack is having the game. A brilliant game. Jimmy Mack. Still. Oh, he's forced to save out of the keeper. God. McQuilkin's having an absolute wonder game. He's running the show out there. Like I said, he would, to be fair. He's one of those players. We're now going to make a sub. We're going to bring Stan Bolziev on. We're going to do it. You know what? I'm going to throw him. He's going to take Rooney off. I'm going to throw Ganawa up top. Hmm. It's all gone a bit quiet. We're going to go sack in. Oh, no. They're coming forward. Last thing we need. White's won it, though. To Crowsdale. But that's going to go straight to them. Palmero. But Hodgkiss has intercepted it. Hornby now. Get a good clearance. That's going to go straight back. It's going to be their chance. Oh no, Tom set now on that ball to Watson, but San Francis Agnew shouldn't. Tony Cliff's got there, boots it forward. Andre Brown, can he do anything with it? Oh, no, that is a poor pass. Stan Bolziev picks it up. McQuilkin out to White. Look at all this space. White now onto Crowsdale. Crowsdale, what can you do with it? He's got it to Tyrell White, but he's lost it. But Tony Cliff should win the header and does. Crowsdale won't win that. Oh, it's going to be a Curzon chance. Gorman. Tom set. Watson. Ennis off the bar and Francis Agnol clears it away. We're going to make a substitution. Liam Truslove is going to come on for Crowsdale. Watson has it. Stambolziev's intercepted it. Oh, what's he doing with that? What are you doing? Oh, Stambolziev. Oh, that's brilliant. Brilliant defender from Agnol. Finds uh, Tony Cliff finds Stambolziev now. Stambolziev's got space to run into. Goes down the line to Andre Brown. There's still time in this game for us to find a winner. Truslove. What can he? What can you do with it, mate? You give it to Wait. Wait now. Comes to McQuilkin. Oh, Brown's in there. McQuilkin. And now it looks like it's going to be a Curzon chance. Watson's through. Watson. No. Oh, Tony Cliffs. Oh, what have you done? He was going nowhere. He was going nowhere, mate. Oh, Jordan, what have you done? You didn't have to dive in. He was going nowhere. And we're going to lose this. We're going to lose this in the last minute. Truslov's book for surrounding the ref. It's the, Here comes the penalty. Ennis to win it for Curzon. It's saved! Orby saves it! Get in there! Come on! Blow it! Blow your whistle, ref! Oh, here we go! Andre Brown! Can he do it? Oh, there we go. Full time. You know what? It's a point earned, that. Well in Hornby, come on! I'm gonna have a go at them either way because we really should be winning games like that. But what a save in the dying seconds from Hornby! Oh, wow! And when I thought we were gonna go up and score after he saved that penalty as well, well, that concludes the end of this episode. What a first game! Uh, thanks for watching. Give it a like. Give us a subscribe. <laughs> And I'll see you next time.